This video briefly describes the approximate chronological age at which different levels of head control are achieved. First, we will go through developmental milestones in the prone position in which the infant lies on their tummy. In the first month of life, infants typically have very little head control and need neck support while feeding and being held. During this first month, they may move their head from side to side, but by the end of the month, most infants can briefly raise their head off the table. By the second month, they can raise their head a little further. By the third month, they are able to hold their head at a 45 degree angle for a sustained period. And by the fourth month, infants can hold their head up in an approximately vertical axis. Now we will go through developmental milestones while sitting and when moving from a laying down to a sitting position. For the first few months, the head typically lags behind the body when being pulled to a sit. That is, the infant's head flops backwards if unsupported while maneuvering. By the second month, early head control has developed, but the head still bobs while the infant is held in a sitting position. By three months of age, the infant attempts to keep their head steady when pulled to a sitting position. By four months of age, their head is steady in a seated position, albeit tipped forward, and should not lag behind the body when moving from the laying down to the sitting position. And by six months, it is typical for the infant to raise their head in anticipation of being lifted. All of these skills are typically acquired by the aforementioned chronological ages. The absence of a certain head control by the specified age signifies a delay. For example, it would be particularly concerning if the infant could not raise their head while on their tummy by two months of age. Or if they do not have any head control by three months of age. If they cannot hold their head steady while sitting by four months of age or if their head still lags when being pulled to a sitting position at five months of age. The presence of any of these so-called red flags may indicate a significant motor delay and the need for further assessment or pediatric neurologic consultation.